have Ghana, then the background knowledge about it, that's the historical um, aspect of it. Okay, one may, one may, you know, may ask, what is this European Convention of Human Rights? European Convention of Human Rights is the law which protects human rights in countries that belong to the Council of Europe. I don't, want us, I don't want us to mistake the Council of Europe to the, um, um, the um, European Union, that's the EU. The Council of Europe is... Very important point. Learn how to differentiate Council of Europe. The Council of Europe is um, completely different from the EU. Yeah. The Council of Europe is, um, is larger and has 47 member states. As I guess, seven member states of um, the EU. The um, um, EU was 28 prior to the, the exit of the UK. So they are now 27 member states in the um, European Union. So the um, Council of Europe was founded in 1949 after the um, Second World War, as said by my colleague. And then um, it was formed you know, to protect um, human rights, rule of law, and then democracy. That was why the um, um, Council of Europe was founded. So okay. can I ask you something, Lizzie? Mm -hmm. So all members are saying, like, um, saying, can a country be a member of Council of Europe but not a member of European Union? Is it no, possible? It's not, it's not possible. It is possible. Like, the million you can belong to the if you want. And that was what, UK was also a part of it, and was also a part of it. In fact, UK joined the, um, the Council of Europe 24 years after joining it. Yes. Okay. So, um, so that's it. Now, um, as I said, the Council of Europe was founded in, um, you know, after the Second World War to protect law and human rights, democracy, and the rule of law. Okay, the European Convention of Human Rights consists of a number of articles which protect human rights, you know, which protect um, basic human rights, which Article 2, which we are talking about, is also an integral part of. And the United Kingdom made rights, you know, made the, these rights part of their domestic laws, they domesticated these laws. Okay, um, I would also have to talk about them. Um, <laughs> Give me ten marks for that. Yes. Um, so I would also have to. Uh, I would also have to talk about a second topic. Sorry, sorry, so top ten topic. This is since the UK is no longer part of the EU, are they still allowed to follow the um, European Convention on Human Rights? I I believe because I listened to Aisha's group when they talked about Brexit. Brazil, sorry. So when they talk about <laughs> whatever, we all understand. So, you are, so when they talk yes. about Brazil, when they talk about Brazil, okay, that is what this place is actually talking about. The UK is no longer part of the um, EU. Do they still observe these laws? My answer to this question is yes. I and I would I would justify that the UK, like I I, I don't care. The UK ceasing to be member of the European Union. It does not in any way stop the UK from following the human rights articles as contained in the European Convention of Human Rights. This is because the UK, although has ceased to be member state in the EU, but still belongs to the European Council and still maintains her position as one of the 47 member states that signed the convention. So what I'm saying here is that the UK, although her, you know, they have exited the um, European Union, but they still belong to the Council of Europe which was even the, 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 the foundation of the European Convention of Human Rights. Yes. So the, the, the visit of UK from the EU does not in any way affect its membership of the European, European Council, which is which it, it, it joined 24 years before it joined the European Union. So even additionally, the UK has, you know, they have domesticated those laws they, they, they incorporated them. Into yeah, incorporated. Them. Yes, they incorporated them into their laws. Like they, they, they did that through the um, Human Rights Act of 1998. You know, the Human Rights of 1998 in the United Kingdom, you know, contains those articles, those laws, as enshrined in the European Convention of Our Separate Speeches. We must have convinced you. We must have told you. In fact, we must have given you a background information about right and life. So thank you very much. Thank you.